Question 14a. A plane needs to travel to a destination that is on a bearing of 63 degrees. The engine is set to fly at a constant 175 km per hour. However, there is a wind from the south with a constant speed of 42 km per hour. On what constant bearing, to the nearest degree, should the direction of the plane be set in order to reach the destination? The following diagram represents a situation. Vector AB represents the desired bearing of the plane, 63 degrees from true north. Vector CB represents the wind from the south at 42 km per hour which acts on the plane in such a way as to push the plane or push the direction of the plane toward north. And vector AC represents the bearing that needs to be set in order to compensate for the wind pushing against the plane, which will be 63 degrees plus theta degrees. Now angle ABC is equal to 63 degrees, so we need another angle inside this triangle in order to either apply the cosine rule or the sine rule in order to be able to determine angle theta. So it's convenient to work out angle ABC since it's alternate. You can see a parallel line here and a parallel line here, so CB is parallel to SN. Now we have a known side angle pair, so AC is opposite angle ABC, so we can apply the sine rule to find angle theta. So by the sine rule, sine theta over 42 is equal to sine 63 degrees over 175. multiplying both sides by 42, and taking the inverse sine of both sides, we have theta is equal to the inverse sine of 42 multiplied by sine of 63 degrees, divided by 175, and that equals 12.347 degrees, which is approximately 12 degrees correct to the nearest whole number. Hence, the bearing set to compensate for the wind is 63 degrees plus 12 degrees, which is 75 degrees from true north.